Hello and welcome to a tutorial on the lesson planner, um, uh, what do you call it, feature or tool in Frog. Um, so I'm going to go to set work and you see in set work you have current assignments, archive assignments, quick issue and quick homework. Uh, this is not going to uh, give me what I want. So what I have to do, because I have to go in, uh, these are just quick tools, so I have them going into my drafts folder because um, I want to set up a thoroughly structured lesson um, using Frog um, to do that. So let's see. So you click on New here, and it's a lesson at the bottom here. So this is a takes longer. It's a bigger structure than other things. So I'm just going to fill these boxes in. So we give a title, keeping it nice and simple. Uh, looking at the key stage, and then what the lesson cover. Um, and you can put the different levels here if that's necessary um, or it might not be and then I'm going to click on here I have lesson objectives so I can put the lesson objective in there I can put more than one in so I can put LO1 and LO2 in for example then I can do different um, sections now I can decide that I'm not going to have a plenary or that I'm not going to have a main I'm going to edit that section and call it something else So, and I can set required work for this as well. It's a new item of work, and again, just that's just, that is the same as a quick issue um, work assignment. Um, but I'm not going to do that now. Um, so back in here, I'm going to have activity one. I can put a time on it. So we'll just say I'll put 15. Don't know what that means. We'll see what happens. Click on OK. Um, so there's activity one. I can put a new section in. Um, call it activity two. And this is going to take 25 minutes. I'm going to click on OK. I'm going to put whatever it is in there, and I can add and edit resources here. So you can see it's just a lot more complicated. I could add like as links to websites or things that I'd made elsewhere, um, and that kind of thing. I can look at key voc a very key vocab list, um, and I can tag it so that it is tagged um, like that. And I can do keywords, so I can just tag it ICT, uh, like so. So these are the five tabs and you can see they go on to different levels of complexity so you'd have to play about with this should you want to do it um, I'm going to show you the example that I did in the end so when we made it, let's double click it um, and this is what the students see now you can't muck about with this template too much Okay. so time for section, there's no time, so time for section is 15 so I'd need to put 15 minutes in there um, activity, one, activity 1 is in the wrong place um, it's got a title and you can see it puts it into this structure for you and all these colors are chosen for you if you want to edit it you go and click on edit lesson so for example I would go and look at sections and I would go and move that one up there um, I'd go and edit the section and put in mins on the end of that one and the same on the other one click on OK and slowly you build it up it's not something you just make at one time but something you think through quite carefully now if I show you the example um, that we used in this, I um, can't remember where I stored it now, I think it's in the frog training isn't it, that we used for the initial frog training um, last academic year, um, where is it, in here, and here we go, I think I put it in here, so this is the one that I did um, for the teachers last time, um, really just learning how to use it myself, so I put in, you can see I've linked to the frog glossary here, um, and there's my title um, yeah so and then I put these in as pictures um, so you could read the objectives again I use these as pictures added resources here um, these, were just, these were just overviews were no activity the time is set there um, and then these again added as images in a text and learning um, HTML editor which is just like a text and pictures block, block. Um, and then it, when I set different bits of work this is what the bits of work come like so you click on these to see if they're complete and when, they, when you've completed them you can go to the resources um, straight from there which which link to that so you can see this is quite a nice way of laying out a web page effectively what it is but it has a completely um, uh, linear structure it doesn't have to be linear but it does have a linear structure a sort of chronological structure if you like um, and that uh, much like a lesson can be um, and whether it's useful to you or not is another question it would take a long time to set this up but then you could use it repeatedly in years to come um, and frog has to have this facility it doesn't mean you have to use this facility 
um, you might not like to do that. Um, there's the evaluation form, for example, that we had last time, um, and and that sort of thing. Um, so you can see there uh, that that is quite complex, and you have to go and muck about with it. I'm not going to give um, um, I'm not going to give any you know, full tutorials on how to do everything inside it. Here you can see these are the pictures that I've clipped in. These are the different sections that I set up. Um, and so if you're going to look at, go and edit level three, for example, you can see here. But then there was set required work, so I'd set all these bits of work using resources that I'd made elsewhere, the videos that I'd made elsewhere in them, um, in in in, um, in Frog, um, etc. So and then I gave the structure to the inset session. I haven't used that for the second inset session because there's so many different. Um, times and activities I wanted to try a different way because I don't I think this is too detailed I don't think I will be using this in lessons but if you like this kind of structure um, then that might be really helpful if you think it will help the children's learning that's it lesson planning